Have you ever thought about having one definitive collection of best looting tips for 7 days to die? I definitely wanted one. So today I have compiled just that. 60 lootables in total, organized by their purpose for easy navigation. This is aiming for gaming, and today we're aiming for a zombie slaying. Newspaper dispensers and colored mailboxes are by far the easiest way to get mechanical parts. Just destroy them with your hammer. And starting with the Alpha 21 update, they became a valuable source of various journals and tomes. And there are big groups of such dispensers in the cities. Various pots with plants can be collected and scrapped for clay soil. The same works for chairs. Scrap them for fast wood or iron. Double beds are a decent source of cloth fragments. Just destroy them with a stone axe. Sometimes this reveals hidden loot as well. Office chairs can be scrapped for leather, which you will need early on for your forge or pipe baton. Wood piles are easy to break and you'll get fast wood compared to tree cutting. Stone brick blocks are much faster to break than stones early game and they also yield 50 stone in total. If you are missing some polymers for a new collector, destroy tires lying on the ground. Dead bodies and, well, these strange piles yield bones, rotting flesh and much more. Cotton plants can be found basically everywhere in the forest and are literally a fast way to craft cloth fragments. Don't miss luggage cases, garment bags and wardrobes as they usually contain various glasses you need for an extra attribute or experience bonus. Luggage cases can also be destroyed for polymers. Destroyed forges and cement mixers always yield the forger head journal, some building materials such as stone and even forged iron. Tree stumps sometimes drop honey if you are trying to cure an infection. Trees sometimes will give you honey too if you reach the Wasteland Treasures Honey Pear Book. Most of the farms on the map have several living crops you can farm, and you can double the crops farmed if you invest one point into living of the land skill. Chickens, rabbits, snakes and other animals are a fast source of meat. Deer spawn at night and boars can be found in different places such as hayfield. Glue can be crafted from water and bones once you place a cooking pot on the campfire. Or later on in the chemistry station, which is even cheaper. Duct tape is a common well quest reward for a tier 1 and 2 quest, or you can craft it from glue. Murky water and paper can be found in toilets. Some POIs have plenty of them. Fresh water is obtained from dew collectors automatically. They require filters to be crafted. Just buy them from traders or get them from a tier 1 completion. Visit pass and gas or other small shops if you need a fast source of food or murky water. Savage country shops have lots of gear and cloths which can be scrapped for cloth fragments. You need a lot of them for clothing pocket mods and duct tape. The electronics shop is a perfect place for getting electrical and mechanical parts and journals for traps. If you want to boost your knowledge, visit Cracker Book or Cracker Cafe, which can be found almost in every big city. Chemistry sets and pop and pills POIs might contain beakers for your future chemistry station. Or just buy it from traders. Medical cars will give you painkillers, honey, antibiotics, spleens and all that. Service trucks usually contain valuable stuff for crafting or even stun buttons. You'll need 12 forged iron for your first range. Craft them in your forge, find them in destroyed forges or buy them from vendors, they're pretty cheap. The same works for a cooking grill and cooking pot. It's pretty easy to craft them in your forge, or you can find them in different kitchens, especially these mobile ones. After obtaining your range, farming for resources becomes much easier. By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, lending your precious like would be my best reward. You can get various resources from cars. Also, at a car's 50% health, you can get an engine or battery. Engines can also be scrapped into 30 mechanical parts if you're missing some. Ranging parking meters will give you electrical parts and some dukes. Gas pumps will give you forged steel and iron when ranged. All lights, including the ones that show you the route in POIs, will yield electrical parts. Air conditioners are a fast source of parts, pipes and brass radiators. Radiators yield radiators, what a surprise! Most POIs have TVs or computers, a great source of fast electrical parts. All sinks and toilets can be arranged for pipes. But why stop there? Range the whole kitchen to get electrical parts. Road lights yield electrical parts and forged steel, and there are so many of them around. For a fast pipe, range a pipe. Broken vending machines can be ranged for forged steel and iron. Ranging a conveyor belt results in electrical parts, and there are plenty of belts around. Ice machines will give you parts when ranged, and also ice even if you break them with an axe. It will be needed for the Yuka smoothie recipe. 
Another way to get snow is to simply mine it in the snow biome. The second ingredient, yucca plants, can be found in the desert biome. Piggy banks have several yucca plants as well. The final ingredient, blueberries, is growing in the snow biome. Toolboxes are great for finding wrenches or lockpicks. All traders now have several secret rooms, book piles, kitchens and four crafting stations to loot. Almost all construction sites have destroyed cement mixes, which is a guaranteed forger head journal. Some construction boxes are hidden in this shape, break them to reveal their contents. Bags of concrete are a free source of cement, which you will need later. If you're after clay soil, just find a farm or sand roads, they have 50 fewer health points than grassland. If you have lockpicks and jailbreakers or you just lucky enough with the lockpicking, you can get a jackpot from police cars. Don't try to arrange them, as these will spawn ferals, for some reason. ATMs are a great way to get money. If you want to know how to get money fast, check my one-minute guide about it. The link here will be in the description. Once you kill a dog or a vulture, you can collect a decent amount of rotting flesh, bones, leather or feathers from them. Killing a bear in the snow biome will give you a testosterone extract, which is needed to craft a cigar. You can craft your own first aid bandages. Just farm aloe vera in the desert, craft aloe cream and bandages, then combine them. Janitor cards usually contain bottles of acid. Or you can reach Wasteland Treasures Acid Perk book to loot it from cars and some other lootable things. I hope with this guide you have achieved what you were aiming for today. For more guides, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing. It's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.